So just to quickly recap for everybody who hasn't seen the previous episode, what I went ahead and did is I literally built a homeless shelter next to Blue Abon Rag, and that is one of the most traversed areas in the game, especially by Bobs, but there's also a lot of alphas. In fact, they raided me twice in one hour, but that's okay, I rebuilt. The episode ended with me meeting a Bob that I found particularly naive and innocent named Kinsley. He got killed, but I let him know in chat that if he came back, I would give him a room and some food. I don't know what's more annoying, these people or the fucking wyverns who just combined kill me. Oh, you fucking asshole. Guy there. Who really wants me dead. trying to fight me. <laughs> Where the fuck you going, dude? You wanted to fight? Fucking fight me. Get the fuck out of here. Get actually fucking trick shotted, kid. Don't care. Don't care. Don't fucking care. You're still getting beat to a bloody pulp and all you taken too. You fucking pooper. He says, and then he goes, why in chat? This is the guy that's been a problem the entire fucking time. <sighs> Is that Kinsley? Kinsley, come in! So, my favorite little homeless man finally made it inside from all the people that are literally camping a homeless shelter and killing homeless people. It's a little fucked up. What I did do is give him the stuff of the guy I just killed. And now, it was time to get him into a room. So finally, this guy would actually be able to enjoy Ark for once, because he's not getting fucking massacred by everyone. And I'm going to do my best to protect him. That's my goal at this stage, that Kinsley doesn't fucking get picked on anymore. I'm going to do my best to protect this guy. But what I do have to do is go outside and pretty much kill all the vagrants to make sure they don't kill Kinsley when I'm showing him to his room. So I'm putting him in a little airlock while I take care of everyone else. Out of here. The, I don't ever want to see your fucking face around here ever again. Oh, you got a boomerang, huh? Yeah. Room for one. Yeah. Fucking try me, dude. Oh no, you did fucking what? Torpidity to me? Oh, it's some random guy with the pike. Alright, come on. Yeah, you're so tough, and then I hit you, and then suddenly you're not so fucking tough after all. Get you your room, Kinsley. We're gonna get you safe and sound. Put the code in. <coughs> I hope I gave him the right code anyway. Yeah! Good shit, dude. Get the fuck in there. Close that door. Yes! Dude! Ah, uh, you don't know how triumphant that fucking feels to watch this fucking guy that I'm just rooting for who's been downtrodden finally get into his hotel room and be safe. Amazing, dude. I'm, I'm smiling. Ear to fucking ear. Who's this? Is this Kinsley? Oh, Kinsley put his stuff away. That's pretty cool. Who the fuck are you? You are part of... You're fucking shark. the fuck out of here.
So as you can see, it doesn't take particularly long for these ne'er-do-wells to come back. But that's fine. Kinsley's got somewhere to put his stuff. He's got some stuff put away. He's finally got a little bit of a foothold in this world. What the fuck? Whoa. Laggy server. Sure, he was after me. So this wyvern that seemed pretty friendly at first turned out to be a detractor that was here to once again ruin the homeless shelter. Oh, I'm glad to see my uh, my guy Kinsley is safe. I'm not sure how much longer he'll be safe for, unfortunately. Alright, uh, another loser ass fucking wyverns come by. I was thinking maybe he was helping me out because he was acting cool at first, but. <coughs> so I'm more worried about Kinsley than I'm worried about myself. I just want my guy Kinsley to be safe. I hope he's just in that room sitting tight and he's okay. I think I hear coughing, like, to my right, so I hope that's Kinsley sitting tight in his room. Just wait for all this to blow over. God, I want nothing more than that to, for that to be true. So, I mean, contrast how things are now with, like, how they were a little bit ago. Where it was, like, pretty much the same people, but we were all just kind of hanging out, not really fighting each other. And now it's, like, complete war zone. We're checking on Kinsley. He's okay. I gave him the shittiest room. I gave him the room that's like fucking about to break apart. Jesus, he had literally like one grenade throw away. Alright, my dude Kinsley is okay. And that to me is all that matters. I think he did put his kid away. Fuck out of here. Kinsley? Who the fuck? Oh no, this guy. This was one of the other homeless people currently residing in the shelter. I went ahead and let him know that now was probably a bad time to leave his room and that he should probably just stay put and I'll let him know when the situation's better. Alright, we're all just locked down in here. What the fuck is that? That was the windstorm, okay. I thought I was about to get bombed. I'm doing my best to try to keep the situation under control, but uh, it's difficult. It's difficult indeed. Yeah, that was a real nice try. Traded blows, his wooden arrow dealing fucking three damage to me. No, Kinsley, get back inside! Get back inside, Kinsley! God damn it, I gotta rush him. They can't they can't get to Kinsley. Fuck you, dude. Get his ass, Kinsley. Sorry, Kinsley. Drag, drag, drag. No, fucking asshole. 
Probably him that just died. Fuck, man. God damn it, dude. The homeless shelter's under siege. <sighs> These are dark times we're in. It really, it, it, it seemed a lot less dark when I was getting fucking raided. For no fucking reason. <coughs> Oh yeah, I just broke the homeless shelter signs. I'm so good at the game. What a complete badass, dude. Storm has ended. Hopefully this is the, a sign of better times to come. No wood. Someone's just getting fucking murdered out there. Keep in mind, the guy I was talking about earlier that was uh, also part of the homeless shelter, he's just been sitting in that room waiting because he wants to upload some of his stuff to the blue ob but of course i'm letting him know that if he goes out he will probably die so i have to let him know that it's still not safe to leave you hear that dodo just got massacred kinsley coming for you kinsley don't you worry you're gonna be safe Okay. Uh, invite to alliance. It was time for me and Kinsley to ally so that I wouldn't ever accidentally attack him. Don't open it, Kinsley. Don't tell me you're opening it, dude. No! What have you done? Inside, Kinsley. Dude, Kinsley's a beast. Take his shit and go. By this stage now, we just fucking had enough of all these guys sitting around and just using the fucking homeless shelter as some. Call of Duty map where you just go around and you kill everyone. That's not what I fucking built it for. And you know what? I think it's time me and Kinsley fight back. So he's getting suited up, I'm throwing him some boomerangs, and we're going out there and we're fucking taking care of everyone. <coughs> Come on, Kinsley. Come on, dude, we fucking got this. Get their asses! Catch me their souls! Out of here, dude. Get the fuck out of here. Whoa. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Oh, is he trying to map this fucking guy over here? Dude, Kinsley's gone power mad. He's just killing random motherfuckers. Bunch of little bitches. Oh, you're injured now, are you? Oh, Kinsley! No. Oh, he punched him up. That's fucking hilarious. Yeah, protect the homeless shelter. Get the fuck out of here. I've inscripted the homeless to fucking help me get these guys. He's just killing random motherfuckers for no reason. Alright, whatever. I like Kimberly more than I like these other guys. Oh shit, Archie? What the fuck is that? Wild? Watch out, Kinsley! 
Try to get it to after me. Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. So he tries to leave this RG down here to kill us. I'll cover you. Yeah, dude, we, we need to hide. Go back inside, dude. There's a big scary monster outside. No, don't throw your boomerang at the kid. Kinsley, no! What have you done? You've damned us all. Kinsley, please. You're getting too brave, man. You need to put that light away. Our only hope is to hide, okay, Kinsley? You gotta stop, dude. You gotta stop throwing your boomerang at everything. You can't solve every problem by throwing your boomerang at it. Oh, shit. Here comes the guy who's here. Get in, get in, get in, get in. <sighs> this is fucked. I could protect Kinsley from Bob's just fine. I mean, we were whooping their asses. But a griffin? If a griffin decided he wanted Kinsley dead, there was just about nothing I could do to stop him. Save your ass again, Kinsley. Dude, I got you. No, don't go out there naked, dude. You'll die instantly. No. Kinsley, what have you done? <laughs> Gotta get him to safety. Gotta get him to safety. Stay the fuck away. Stay the fuck away. Come on, we're getting you out of here. We're getting you out of here. Wrong body. Don't go out there, Kinsley. You know it's not a good idea. Oh, Jesus. What have you done, Kinsley? What have you done? Oh. Griffin. Despite everything I'd done to try to keep him alive, the Griffin killed him. Kinsley was dead. Kinsley died. All I could do was save myself there. So fucking sad to see a young, hopeful man like that die in a pointless war. This has to be one of the most fucked up homeless shelters of all time. Ah, here come the grenades. Oh, see, he's a nice guy. Oh, Kinsley! Hi. Goodbye, Kinsley. You never realize how good at fake crying I am. Jesus. Okay. Peace out, bro. <coughs> Just like that, I'm out of here. The homeless shelter had once again been bombed. That part wasn't anything new. But this time, Kinsley's room went with it. Everything in there would just be gone, and I'd have nothing to remember him by. <coughs> Kinsley's dead, his base is blown into, my base is blown into. I watched him die run in front of me. He just goes me in chat. They all have these weird ass fucking names. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't mind if you uh, left.
me alone. I just wanted to watch my base. You know. Do you have a mustache? I don't know you could have female characters with mustaches. Yeah, dude, you can just... Yeah, isn't that so cool how he's just wrecking my base for no reason? I wonder if he knows I'm here and he's just like... You know, watching the sunset with me. What if he doesn't? I think he doesn't. Because he probably would have killed me if he did. Yeah, I mean, you know, judging by his behavior of blowing up the homeless shelter, I think he didn't realize that I'm laying in the dirt right next to him, about three feet away from him. Thank God for that. Who the fuck is laying down right here? You're so stealthy, aren't you? That's Kinsley's shit. Alright, just go to sleep, Marty. So he sifted around in there and took his shit. So what had happened was, I went up on the cliffs just to kind of look down on my base and, you know, think about what happened. Just kind of reflect on the situation. And as I was up there, of course there was that griffin that went right next to me, but then there was this guy who I just happened to see when I was orbit camming. And what he had done is when those guys had blown up the base, he ran into Kinsley's room, took Kinsley's armor, put it on, came back up here, got bullied by me, and killed. So I would at least have something to remember Kinsley by. And just if you don't believe me, here is Kinsley wearing this armor. I mean, it's possible that it's a coincidence, but who else wears hide armor with just flak leggings? I mean, come on. It's like a 99% chance this is Kinsley shit. So, you gotta look at the several lining in the situation. At least, I'd have something to remember the situation by. Until the servers wipe in like fucking 20 days. Oh, that guy's still trapped in there. Oh my god. So, in case you don't remember, this guy lived in the room farthest from where the explosion happened. So his room was the only one that was fine. And the thing that happened is he had logged out before that happened, because there were too many door campers, and he was trying to upload stuff. So he would just wait till the door campers were gone. Well, the rest of the homeless hotel got fucking blown up. Then he logs back in, opens the door, and just finds everything fucking demolished. I would have loved to have had that guy's POV, because that would just have been something else entirely. Feel free to uh, like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, because, in fact, I'm ending it right here. We watched 22 minutes. It must have been pretty good, right? And, uh, yeah, I will never be helping Bobs again. They put me through so much shit when I was trying to help them. I will now just be killing them on sight.